How's it going, everyone? David Braga here. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit of something different. Just a little bit. Just a little different. Today we are going to talk about uh, the 2019 NFC Championship game. I know, right? It's a really weird time to bring it up. You know, so many months have passed since the embarrassing performance of the defense in that 2019 NFC Championship game. Uh, but let's take a look at it here. Uh, okay, let me switch. Uh, okay, let's take a look at it. Oh, oh wait, that's that's not that's not the NFC Championship game. That's oh, this is the game from today. Oh, well, you you can see, you see how I got confused? You see Cousins threw fourteen attempts and 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 uh, Garoppolo threw eight. Okay. okay. Um, Dalvin Cook ran the ball thirty times. Raheem Mostert ran it twenty twenty nine times for two twenty. Uh, running back had four touchdowns there, and Dalvin Cook had three plus uh, three plus one. That's four. Uh, hmm. There wasn't anybody with more than two receptions, and you know there really wasn't anything going on for the Vikings and receptions and and Rodgers had an okay day and and you know the the two picks but his completion percentage was good and you know Rodgers was okay and they you know they didn't really get sacked 3 for 30 and Rodgers only got sacked once for 0 yards lost so you know it wasn't really a bad day for Rodgers and and you know the, the Packers receiving core it was really set, it was really spread out and look at oh look at how spread out it was uh in the NFC Championship game how many different guys had receptions and oh but but we but we lost both of these games well you know this one this one happened last year so I'm sure I'm sure that uh de Kunst and and Matt LaFleur and and defensive coordinator Mike Pettin I'm sure they improved uh you know from from this game and they they you know something else went nothing else went wrong all right <laughs> this was an exact replay this game that I'm looking at right right over here on this on this monitor that you guys are looking at right there it was the same game it was the exact same game exact same game Devonte Adams had a really solid game uh, you know, didn't have the yardage that he had in the NFC Championship game, but a really solid game. Three touchdowns, seven receptions, 12 targets, you know, really good game. Uh, and the rush defense just sucked. I, I don't know what else to tell you. Thielen, nothing. Justin Jefferson, nothing. Irv Smith, nothing. Kyle Rudolph, a guy that always scares me when we play the Vikings, nothing. Kirk Cousins did jack shit today. He had 110 yards plus a... 50 yarder to Dalvin Cook. So he had you take out that one one play to Dalvin Cook. Kirk Cousins was 10 of 13 for 110 yards and no touchdowns. And the Packers lost a football game. Boy, that sounds an awful lot like Jimmy Garoppolo going 6 of 8 for 77 yards and winning that football game. I don't know what it is about the rush defense that's I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I've always I've always tried to defend the coaches saying that they can only do they can only do so much before the players have to take over and the players have to actually do something. I've been such a proponent of that throughout history. And I just don't know anymore. I don't I don't know what's I don't know what's supposed to happen. I these are these are the same game. These are the exact same game. The Packers scored twenty in this one, they scored twenty two in this one. The Packers gave up twenty eight in this one, they gave up thirty. It was the exact same game. It was the exact same game. The only difference was the NFC Championship game wasn't close, and this one was because the Minnesota Vikings are not remotely the team that the San Francisco 49ers were last year. This team should have won the Super Bowl. This team is competing for a top-five draft pick, and the same thing happened. The same exact game I watched a replay of today. I watched the 2019 NFC Championship game today in Lambeau Field. It was embarrassing. It was flat out embarrassing. Everyone knew that every play Dalvin Cook was going to get the ball. And if Dalvin Cook didn't get the ball, he was going to be the number one target for wherever Kirk Cousins was going with the football. But it didn't matter because Dalvin Cook was going to get the ball. Just like last year, Raheem Mostert was going to get the ball. 
I, I don't know what else to say, man. I I get it. We've had injuries. Kevin King's out. Kevin King doesn't help in the run game. Christian Kirksey's out. Christian Kirksey wasn't on the team last year. This is this is the almost player by player same team as it was last year. Except last year it was like what Oren Burks instead of Kamal Martin and Chris Barnes on the inside. I I would say that's an upgrade. The same thing happened. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what has to happen. I don't know if it's pet and scheme. I don't know if these players just don't know how to, don't know what a run is. I don't know if they've thought that the NFL is just so pass happy now that they don't know what a running back is. Uh, but it needs to stop because the team that did this to us the first time we play in three days and the trade deadline is in two days. So I get it. You can complain about the drops. You can complain about how bad. Valdez, Scantling, and St. Brown were today. I get all that. I get how bad they were. But you cannot tell me that this is a this is a Super Bowl caliber team in Green Bay without improving anything on the defense. This is an open call to the Packers front office and coaches and whoever. Trade for somebody that can stop the run, and you better do it by Tuesday <laughs> because this cannot happen if you're going to win a Super Bowl. This right here that I'm looking at, this is embarrassing. Okay? It cannot happen. It cannot happen if you're trying to win a Super Bowl. You, First of all, I get it. It's a division bonus. It's a division opponent. Division opponents always play you tougher. The, the Lions have given the Packers some of the best fights in the last three years. And the Lions have been bad. This can't happen. You can't give up. I. It's Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook's the top five running back in the NFL. Okay, Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson are a really good wide receiver duo. When one of those things is beaten, that ever living breaks off of your football team, you have to adjust. And the Packers didn't adjust. The Packers didn't adjust to any of it. Dalvin Cook just ran wild the whole game, and you know I I get it. The 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 49ers have been destroyed by injuries today. I'm seeing now just just recently now, Tevin Coleman's questionable to return to the game today. Um, but man, I'm telling you, you gotta fix this. This is this is unbelievable. You can't win football games like this. If a team can just do what they want at will, the entire game. I mean, the Vikings killed every drive. The Vikings killed so much clock today, just running Dalvin Cook, and it came down to a point where <clears throat> the Packers had two and a half minutes to make a stop, and the first rush, Dalvin Cook took it for seven, six and a half, seven yards almost. And the Packers just let the clock go to the two-minute warning because if, if we burn a timeout now and they get a first down, it doesn't matter. We're going to get to the two-minute warning anyway. That's how bad the Packers' rush defense was. That Matt LaFleur couldn't call a timeout before the two-minute warning because he knew that the Packers couldn't stop Dalvin Cook anyway. It's a shame. It's just a real shame. And we did stop Dalvin Cook, and Jamal Williams lined up incorrectly and burned like 10 seconds off the clock. But that's neither here nor there. Fact of the matter is you can't put yourself in that situation. You, you can't do it. And the Packers defense put him in that situation. And, I, you know, I'm going to be one of the bitchiest people online about the officiating day, today because it was awful, but it's always awful. Officiating is always awful. Just get over it. Me. Talking to me. Get over it. Control what you can control. You can control how much Dalvin Cook runs for. Can't control what the officials do. You control Dalvin Cook to... Five and a half yards of carry on 30 carries, and you let him score four times on you. And you couldn't contain him at all. None of you could. Sad. Sad that you let the exact thing. This was the exact situation that I wanted you to avoid by drafting Patrick Queen. At least attempt to make your team better. Your first three draft picks have done nothing this year. Absolutely nothing. Jordan loves the third string quarterback. De Josiah DeQuara, while he was impressive to start a little bit, He's out with an ACL, and A.J. Dillon's finally had a chance with Aaron Jones being out the last couple weeks, and Jamal Williams has been the primary back, and A.J. Dillon hasn't done anything. You didn't even try to make your team better with the first three draft picks. Second, if this happens again, I, I'm i not even going to make a video on it. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, still shame on me. Or what is it? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on, shame on me. Shame on you, Packers. Shame on me. Shame on us. 
Shame on you guys. Pathetic. I will see you guys Thursday night. Packers at 49ers. Hopefully injuries are taken care of and we are all healthy to go. And hopefully Mike Pettin and the defense gets a stern talking to. I don't care who does it. Somebody needs to give him a stern talking to. See you guys Thursday night. Peace out.